if you can picture Woods, six force that these soldiers were marching through. Every once in a while there will be an opening or a clearing where his men will be spotted by Union soldiers. Eventually, Union General Joseph Hooker thinks Lee is retreating. My great-grandfather would be in this flank mark. They're heading down the orange turnpike, what is today's Route 3, and the old plank road. On this march, there will be many members, graduates, from the Virginia Military Institute. Officers now serving under Jackson. One man turns to Jackson and says, Sir, it looks like the DMI is well represented today. Jackson responds minutes later and he says, The Institute will be heard from today. Jackson was wearing four layers of clothes on May 2nd. It was 85 degrees. He was seen having to chill. When Jackson first looked at the map where his men will be coming at it, it would be the Brock Road. He decides that's too open. And he wants another map made in another direction from one of the locals. A man by the name of Welford will guide Jackson to their family property on an unknown timber trail. Jackson will be looking at his watch at approximately 5.15 p.m. on May 2nd. Counting down the seconds, counting down the minutes. He will turn to the leading uh, division commander, Robert Rose, a DMI graduate. He will turn to General Rose and he will say, are you ready, General Rose? Rose will say, yes, sir. Jackson puts his watch away and he says, very good then. You may go forward. The Union Army will make a stand. The 11th Corps will make a stand here in the Wilderness Church. 